Welcome, fellow explorers of the animal kingdom, language enthusiasts, and curious minds. Today, we embark on an incredible journey to unlock a mystery that has fascinated humans for centuries. We're diving deep into the world of language, a powerful tool that has shaped human society in profound ways. It's the key to our thoughts, emotions, and the very essence of what makes us human. But here's where it gets intriguing, while we've mastered the art of language, there's always been a lingering question, do animals have a form of language too? From the enchanting songs of birds to the mesmerizing dances of bees, the animal kingdom is brimming with communication. But can we truly call it language? Today, we're going to delve deep into this enigma, exploring the striking differences and surprising similarities between human language and the various forms of communication observed in the animal world. So, grab your explorer's hat, sharpen your curiosity, and let's venture into the captivating realm of unlocking the mystery, human versus animal language. Stay with us, you won't want to miss a moment of this extraordinary journey. Human language is incredibly productive and creative. Unlike animal communication, which often relies on fixed signals for specific situations, humans can produce an infinite number of novel sentences to express a wide range of thoughts and ideas. We can effortlessly generate sentences that have never been uttered before, demonstrating our remarkable linguistic creativity. Human language is composed of discrete units, such as words and phonemes, which can be combined in various ways to convey meaning. This discrete structure allows us to convey complex ideas with precision. Each word has a specific meaning, and small changes in word order or pronunciation can result in entirely different meanings. One of the intriguing aspects of human language is its arbitrariness. The relationship between words and their meanings is largely arbitrary. For example, there's no inherent reason why the word tree represents those tall, woody plants. This arbitrary nature of language allows for a vast vocabulary and the capacity to name and discuss countless concepts. Human language is not hardwired, it is learned and transmitted culturally. Children acquire their native language through exposure and interaction with speakers of that language. Language evolves over time, reflecting changes in culture and society. This cultural transmission is a unique aspect of human language and enables it to adapt and grow with the needs of its speakers. Examples of human language include spoken language, written language, and sign language. Spoken language is perhaps the most common and natural form of human communication. It involves the use of vocal sounds, or phonemes, to convey meaning. Humans have developed an astounding diversity of spoken languages, each with its own unique sounds, grammar, and vocabulary. From the melodic tones of Mandarin Chinese to the rhythmic cadence of Swahili, spoken language is an integral part of human culture. The development of written language is one of the most significant achievements in human history. Through writing, we can represent spoken language in a visual form using symbols, letters, or characters. This allows us to preserve knowledge, communicate across time and space, and share ideas with generations yet unborn. The diversity of writing systems, from the Latin alphabet to the Chinese characters, reflects the rich tapestry of human languages. Sign language is a visual gestural system used by deaf and hard-of-hearing communities around the world. It has all the essential features of spoken language, including grammar and syntax, but it relies on handshapes, facial expressions, and body movements rather than vocal sounds. American Sign Language ASL, and British Sign Language BSL, are two examples of complex sign languages that have evolved independently from spoken languages. Animal communication refers to the exchange of information or signals between animals of the same species or different species. It serves as a means for animals to convey vital messages such as mating calls, warnings of danger, or the location of food sources. While animal communication lacks the complexity of human language, it plays a crucial role in the survival and social interactions of various species. Communication is fundamental in the animal kingdom, where it influences behavior, cooperation, and the ability to thrive in specific ecological niches. From the smallest insects to the largest mammals, animals have evolved diverse communication systems that allow them to navigate their environments, find mates, establish dominance hierarchies, and protect themselves from predators. 
The types of animal communication include vocalizations, body language, chemical signaling, or pheromones, and visual signals. Vocalizations are common in many animal species. Birds, for example, are known for their intricate songs, which are used for attracting mates, marking territory, and identifying themselves to others. Mammals also employ vocalizations, such as the howling of wolves and the roaring of lions, to communicate within their social groups. Body language encompasses a wide range of nonverbal signals, including postures, gestures, and movements. Animals like dogs and wolves use body language to convey their emotional states and intentions to other members of their pack. For example, a submissive dog may lower its head and tail, while an aggressive dog may raise its hackles and bare its teeth. Many animals rely on chemical signals, or pheromones, to communicate. These chemical compounds are often released into the environment through urine, sweat, or other secretions. Pheromones can convey information about reproductive readiness, territory boundaries, and danger alerts. Ants, for instance, use pheromone trails to guide colony members to food sources and back to the nest. Visual signals involve the use of colors, patterns, and movements to communicate. Male peacocks, with their vibrant and ornate plumage, use visual displays to attract females during courtship rituals. Similarly, the colorful dances of male birds of paradise and the striking patterns of certain fish species serve as visual cues for mate selection. Some examples of animal communication include bird songs, bee waggle dance, dolphin clicks, and ant pheromone trails. Birds are renowned for their melodic songs, which have various functions. Male birds often sing to establish territory and attract females. The complexity of their songs can also convey information about their health and genetic fitness. Honeybees communicate the location of food sources to their hive mates through a unique dance known as the waggle dance. The angle and duration of the dance convey information about the direction and distance to the food source. Dolphins are known for their clicks and whistles, which they use for communication and echolocation. Clicks are used to locate prey and navigate underwater, while whistles are used for social interactions and maintaining group cohesion. Ants leave chemical pheromone trails as they forage for food. These trails guide other members of the colony to the source of nourishment and back to the nest, ensuring efficient resource exploitation. One of the fundamental distinctions between human and animal language lies in the complexity of syntax and grammar. Human languages exhibit intricate rules for combining words into sentences, allowing for an extensive range of meanings to be conveyed. The grammar of human language is highly structured, with rules governing word order, tense, and agreement, enabling us to express nuanced and abstract ideas. In contrast, the syntactic structure of animal communication is often limited and less flexible. While animals can convey important messages through signals like vocalizations, gestures, or movements, these signals typically lack the syntactic depth and grammatical complexity seen in human language. Animal communication tends to be more straightforward, serving immediate needs such as indicating danger or signaling mating readiness. Human language is characterized by its creativity and the ability to generate novel words, expressions, and meanings. We can effortlessly coin new words, adapt language to evolving contexts, and convey abstract concepts through metaphor and symbolism. This linguistic creativity allows us to discuss concepts that may not have previously existed, fostering innovation and adaptation. In contrast, animal communication often relies on fixed signals that have specific meanings within their species. These signals are generally instinctual or learned through individual experience and there is limited room for the creation of entirely new communication forms. While animals can adapt their communication to some extent, it is generally within a narrower range than humans. Human language is uniquely suited for conveying abstract and symbolic representations. We can discuss complex ideas, emotions, and philosophies, and create metaphors to describe intangible concepts. Language enables us to explore the realms of philosophy, art, science, and more facilitating the transmission of culture and knowledge. Animal communication primarily focuses on concrete needs, such as finding food, attracting mates, or warning of danger. While some animals can communicate about immediate emotional states, such as fear or aggression, their communication typically remains rooted in the tangible world of survival and reproduction.
human language is transmitted culturally and learned through generations. Children acquire their native languages through exposure and interaction with speakers of that language. This allows languages to evolve, adapt, and reflect cultural changes over time. The rich tapestry of human languages worldwide is a testament to this cultural transmission. In contrast, animal communication is often instinctual or learned individually. While some animals may teach certain communication behaviors to their offspring, it is typically not a process of transmitting a complex system of symbols and grammar. Instead, it tends to be more immediate and individualized, reflecting the immediate needs of the animal and its environment. In summary, the key differences between human and animal language encompass the complexity of syntax and grammar, the capacity for creativity and novelty, the ability to convey abstract concepts, and the mode of cultural transmission. While animals communicate effectively within their ecological niches, human language stands as a unique and intricate system that has enabled the development of complex societies, cultures, and civilizations. Researchers employ various methods to study animal communication, including behavioral observations, bioacoustics, and neurobiology. Behavioral observations involve meticulously recording and analyzing animal interactions, vocalizations, and body language in natural or controlled settings. Bioacoustics involve studying the sounds and vocalizations produced by animals, often using specialized equipment to record and analyze acoustic signals. Neurobiological research explores the neural mechanisms responsible for both the production and reception of signals. These methods provide valuable insights into how animals communicate within their ecosystems. Interpreting animal signals can be challenging due to the vast diversity of communication systems across species. Different animals use various sensory modalities, such as sound, visual cues, or chemical signals, making cross-species comparisons difficult. Additionally, understanding the context and intent behind a signal can be complex. For example, a bird song might serve multiple functions, including territory defense and attracting mates. Researchers must consider ecological, social, and evolutionary factors when interpreting animal communication. The Sapir-Whorf hypothesis, also known as linguistic relativity, suggests that the structure and vocabulary of a language influence or even determine the way speakers perceive and think about the world. In the context of animal communication, debates arise about the extent to which language or communication systems shapes the cognitive abilities and worldview of animals. While humans use language to describe and categorize the world, it remains unclear whether animal communication systems have a similar effect on their cognition and perception. Another enduring debate revolves around whether animals have a form of language comparable to human language. While animals communicate to convey information, the extent to which their communication systems meet the criteria of human language remains a subject of controversy. Some argue that certain species, such as dolphins, apes, and parrots, display language-like abilities, including syntax and symbol use, while others contend that these behaviors are limited to trained responses and lack the depth of human language. In summary, the study of animal communication is a dynamic field filled with challenges and debates. Researchers use various methods to investigate how animals convey information, but interpreting their signals within the context of their species and environment can be complex. Controversies persist regarding the influence of communication systems on animal cognition, the presence of language-like abilities in non-human animals, and the significance of individual case studies in understanding animal communication capabilities. These debates continue to shape our understanding of the rich tapestry of communication across the animal kingdom. In our exploration of the intriguing world of language, we've uncovered the remarkable distinctions between human and animal communication. We've learned about the complexity of human language, its creativity, and its ability to convey abstract concepts and astonishing contrast to the more straightforward, fixed systems of animal communication. These key differences reflect the unique cognitive and cultural attributes of our species. Language, the very essence of what makes us human, has played an unparalleled role in our evolution and cognitive development. It has facilitated the transmission of knowledge, the building of complex societies, and the expression of our deepest thoughts and emotions. Understanding the profound impact of language on our species can provide valuable insights into the journey of human evolution and the intricacies of our cognitive abilities. 
As we wrap up this exploration, let us ponder the future of animal communication research. The boundaries between human and animal communication are continually being pushed, and new discoveries challenge our understanding of the animal kingdom's capacity for language. What hidden depths of communication are waiting to be unveiled in the animal world? What groundbreaking insights will we gain into the minds of our fellow creatures? These are questions that continue to inspire researchers and fuel the exciting frontier of animal communication studies. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey. We hope you found this exploration both enlightening and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. We also invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below and join the discussion on the fascinating topic of language in the animal kingdom. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos and related content as we delve deeper into the wonders of the natural world and human cognition.